Xion Castle has inspired many writers and artists. Rousseau, Byron, Lamartine, Hugo, and the painter Courbet were impressed by the imposing outlines of the fortress, whose occasionally dark history contrasts with its enchanting setting. Chion Castle has the Dent du Midi as its backdrop. It's subject to strong winds and storms on the lake and is thus well suited uh, to the romantic eye. Jean-Jacques Rousseau brought Chion into literary posterity by using it as the setting for a key passage in La Nouvelle Héloïse, an innovative 18th century novel that paved the way for literary romanticism. The episode is tragic as it involves the death of a heroine who jumps in the water near the castle to try and save her child who's fallen in. She's pregnant, suffers concussion and dies. The whole of literary Europe discovered Chion Castle with this book and through sad circumstances. Lord Byron was the first to place the spotlight on Bonivar in his poem The Prisoner of Chion. He makes the prisoner a symbol of trampled freedom. Shut away in the castle's cellars and deprived of a view of the countryside, the captive can hear only the lapping of the waves and only the light reflected off the lake. Xi'an thus became a place of contrast and the home of romanticism. There is the construction of fusion with the surroundings. In other words, the romantic poet sees the image of his inner feelings reflected in the surrounding landscape. One of the best known images of Chillon was painted by Gustave Courbet. The painting shows the castle in harmony with the surrounding countryside. The castle had already enjoyed great success for the previous 50 years, as all these writers had attracted large numbers of tourists and visitors to Chillon, and a whole series of paintings, engravings, and watercolored engravings came onto the market at the time, simply to meet the demands of all these visitors. In more recent times, the cinema has found Chillon an ideal setting for developing its plots, as in Peter Bogdanovich's Daisy Miller, based on the book by Henry James. Even comic books have seized on the legend of Chillon. The Vaux writer Paul Boudry summarizes artist Chillon in these words. Here by the water's edge, this old castle sings, with greater melancholy than elsewhere the ambiguous lament of our inexplicable destiny. <laughs>